if you are a good candidate for surgery, if your fetus is uh, on the severe end of the spectrum, then uh, we need to figure out how to make the lung grow. If we could pinch the windpipe, we could actually make the lung grow and sometimes even push some of the bowels and things out of the chest. It was a much less invasive way to accomplish uh, the same thing and it actually works. Astoundingly, if you think about it, I mean, why would it work to obstruct someone's windpipe and expect their lung to grow? Well, it just is uh, true that in the fetus, um, uh, back pressure on the lung makes it actually grow and make little new alveoli, and, and it works beautifully. Uh, we've developed sort of the ultimate non -inv minimally invasive way to do it, which is single puncture, uh, often through your skin, not even making any incision in you, a little bit like amniocentesis, put a very small telescope in, put that telescope down the fetus's mouth, through the cords, into the trachea, and leave behind a little detachable balloon. So we blow up the balloon, detach it, take everything out. The fetus is left with a little balloon inside the trachea. And, and of course, we, we then watch you carefully, and we can actually see the lung growing uh, before birth. Now, um, here's an interesting problem. <laughs> Your fetus now has a completely obstructed airway, and when he is born, he needs to breathe. So what do we do about that? Um, one is uh, to uh, deliver the baby using the so-called exit procedure, which is something we developed here uh, in San Francisco. And that's essentially a half of a cesarean section in which we uh, do the first part of a cesarean section, expose the baby's head, but leave him in the uterus and attach the placenta because you are the ultimate support device the ultimate perfect heart-lung machine. That way the baby doesn't actually have to breathe. Doesn't have to breathe at all. And we can do whatever is necessary. In this case, look down the trachea, grab the balloon, take it out, do whatever else we need to get the baby ready for support after birth, put an endotracheal tube, give him surfactant, put in IVs if we want, very electively clamp the cord, take him with our buddies, the neonatologists, the baby doctors, and there we go.